Hey, hey, hey there, folks. John Pesk here, bringing another audio commentary. And today we have an elf mirror between Psy and between and um, Moon. So um, it's gonna be on Twisted Meadows and Elf Mirror, probably one of Moon's worst matchups. I mean, uh, Orc is obviously quite a weak one for him. But apart from that, Elf I think is certainly his weakest matchup because he's so strong in the other races. Whereas Psy actually pretty good at um, Elf Mirrors. Uh, he certainly had a lot of very significant wins against very good elves, so I think uh, this could be quite a close game. And we're immediately seeing uh, both players going for creeping very close to each other. Moon, you'll notice, in a sort of advantageous creeping position, in that he can really easily creep out this Merc camp quite quickly, whereas Psy has to creep out this camp. Unfortunately, if they do scout each other, it's much worse to be creep jacked at this uh, rock golem, so we're going to have to see uh, how the players decide to play this. It is possible that Moon will scout this and then decide not to creep it up, but just go and harass instead. Also, you can occasionally see Priests of the Moon on this map, uh, obviously with the Hunters as well, but it looks like we're actually going to be seeing two Demon Hunters this game, and it looks like Psy actually will be scouting out Moon, and that's really significant, um, just because it means that he's going to be able to go for that creep jack if he wants it, or he knows that Moon's going to have to be playing a possibly a bit more defensively. Uh, we're going to have to see how cocky he is. Maybe Moon has some uh, special creeping pattern. Maybe he's going to try and steal the... Um, uh, the Merc quickly or something like that, but it looks like Psy immediately starting up his creeping, whereas Moon uh, not actually even producing a second uh, Wisp, he's capped at 20 food at the moment, and so uh, Moon coming in here, going to try and kill off that Wisp, really nice play here, but Psy bringing in a couple more Wisps, obviously this one can just go hide in some corner of the map now, uh, provide decent scouting, and then also regain his health and carb slumber, so it's not too big a loss for Psy, you know both the Demon Hunters come in, obviously go for those immediate mana burns, Moon does have a Wisp here, which he could actually use to try and get a block off on Psy, but instead he's just going to go and try and do some here. Both players going in for the kill, and looks like um, Moon did get that kill there. Very, very nicely played, even though Psy did get the items, which is a clause of attack. But still getting that creep is so, so useful, and that's really going to be um, very detrimental to Psy. And you can see Moon has been forced to not creep. It's so nice if you can creep this, because you get a really amazing item. You get level 2, and you can uh, you get access to that Merc Camp, which can be pretty useful as well. Just um, the Berserkers can be useful. Uh, I mean, it depends what your opponent's doing, but uh, that Merc Camp can be really useful at times. And it looks like uh, Psy just going to try and creep this out, but Moon just not going to let, it, let him um, get away with anything. And uh, in Elf Mirrors, you can really get away with having low um, uh, hit point uh, heroes for the beginning, just because there's nothing that your opponent can do to try and slow you down. Uh, just uh, try and uh, stop you from getting out of there. Uh, and so that's actually why you so often see things like Wisp Blocks. It looks like Moon's actually found this low hit point um, Wisp of Psy, and Psy's going to have to try and run it into a corner somewhere, maybe get it off of some creeps, but it looks like Moon's going to get there just in time, so Psy's forced to detonate. And meanwhile, it looks like Moon is setting up an expansion. Moon loves getting these early expansions in Elf Mirrors, and uh, sticking it tier 1 as well, obviously, where Psy is already um, a bit of the way to tier 2, so that's a uh, really, really... Um, a very massive divergence here, so I'm probably going to pick up some boots now, and then, uh, oh well, doing some significant shopping there, boots, dust, and a circlet, and so uh, he will be, I'm probably looking to go on the offensive right now, and looks like actually a uh, moon is going to kill, ooh, another nice detonate there, by um, side, just getting uh, those off in time, and Moon might well lose this uh, archer, so he's going to sacrifice it to the creeps, uh, just to cause Psy a whole bunch of problems. Ooh, no, he doesn't actually, he just misses it. You know, Moon getting this, uh, getting one hunters out first. Uh, this is a good way to tide yourself over, considering you are going to be behind in tech a bit. And look at this fantastic play by Moon, immediately knowing, ooh, actually, he doesn't get the detonate there, Moon would be a bit careless. Um, uh, but uh, immediately just being on top of every little attack. Uh, that size making even if he doesn't quite get the detonate off you can see he was running for it probably gonna try and get in the range of creeps but didn't quite make it in time and so Psy now has some significant experience after getting that archer kill and the wisp kill actually I'm um, leading it uh, significantly ahead of moon now who basically has only got that one creep steal though it was a significant creep steal and looks like uh, moon and Psy just gonna sort of battle it out a bit obviously Psy just needs to stall for time now while he gets his tier 2 up and then needs to push before uh, moon gets his tier 2 up with the economy advantage so it's a pretty narrow time frame here for Psy, but obviously with that tier 2 we can possibly pick up a Naga second and that can be really nice against that Demon Hunter uh, just going for those really um, simple surrounds and stuff, although to be fair Psy hasn't built too many archers so it's going to be a bit harder for him to actually do too much damage in this situation and it looks like Psy is happy to chase around Moon now because he does have these um this item advantage for one thing. Also, I oh actually no sorry, Sai has built a couple more archers and just put them in his base. I didn't even see those. I guess he's just worried about the hunter's push. But uh obviously there isn't a second nation of war from Moon, so it's not too much of a threat. You know it looks like Moon has finished this tree of life. We'll be going to uh, creep it out and probably should bring either some huntresses back or a lot of wisps to repair that tree of life, but you generally want the experience. 
because it's such a lot of experience. And then you, if you bring your hero as well, you can pick up the item quickly as well. So uh, looks like Moon has started his attack now. He's about halfway through. We know Asai is now tier 2, rebuilding those wisps that he's lost. And uh, we're not yet seeing any uh, tier 2 buildings from him yet, which is a bit surprising. But I suppose we'll see them quite soon. Mino Ooh, this is interesting. Asai going for the Beastmaster second. Really, really interesting play here by him. Obviously that Beastmaster can be mana burnt so much, you really have to make excellent, excellent use of it. Uh, obviously on Twisted Meadows it's such a large map that perhaps he wants to use it for the scouting. Uh, obviously those uh, Quill Beasts are excellent scouts, and uh, also pretty good against Hunters and Dryads, which is all Moon's army is going to be for a very long time, uh, just because it's going to take him so long to get the bears, and if he does go for Dots, well then he's already got that sorted, because um, Quill Beasts are also really good against Dots. But um, also the um, Eagle Scout would be uh, quite nice. Or uh, just um, it's a uh, it does fair damage, but it's also just excellent for scouting on this large map where Moon is renowned for going for dozens of expansions and just really messing you up. And looks like actually uh, Saiga do some creeping here. Obviously, actually having a mixture of uh, archers and huntresses now. Uh, we're s just now seeing one ancient of lore going up, but it's really really late, and we're not seeing any tier two. Uh, ambitions here from Sai, so perhaps what we're going to be seeing is some sort of tier 2 push, uh, perhaps he's worried about Moon getting too much of an economic advantage from this expansion, you know Moon has crept out of the expansion, has a whole bunch of golden lumber stored up, so we'll be able to a lot now that he has hit tier 2, going for a dark ranger second, well, really interesting choices here by both players, uh, going for that black arrow, makes sense really because I mean, that darker ranger can work really well with low amounts of mana, e uh, so uh, even once uh, she has been mana burnt, uh, you can quickly get straight back into the, into using your skills, because uh, 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 the black arrow costs so little mana, and uh, so it's quite interesting choices, obviously um, I think silence is probably more likely to be her second chosen skill, uh, but it's hard to say really, uh, life drain isn't too well used, and uh, silence is pretty nice if you have the uh, micro to use, and certainly Moon does, and so it, we're going to have to see exactly how this plays out, Moon meanwhile getting his uh, lore up, actually getting uh, two lores up, and it looks like uh, he has got an Ancient of Wonders, which is something I don't think Sai has actually got up yet. But uh, Sai is now creeping to level 2 on his Beastmaster, and uh, there he gets it there. And so what item is he going to get? He gets a um, Tome of Agility, uh, not great for that Beastmaster. Uh, but we'll have to see what he gets from this, because this item can really be game-changing. He gets a Parry up to Vitality. Alright, uh, item I suppose. Make your... Uh, makes your uh, moon wells much more efficient which is nice and looks like a uh, moon going for this round here on side just misses it if you just move one of those skeletons over a bit he would have got it and you know it looks like moon has also picked up a parry after vitality from that uh from his equivalent camp that he was creeping out and uh, what item did he get here ooh um bear scroll it's just not a great item here even if uh, moon doesn't go for tier three it's just not as good as something like a potion of greater healing would have been on the uh, Demon Hunter especially, and that's Sai actually interestingly has bought a uh, Staff of Teleportation really late, he's done a lot of shopping at his mer at his um, Goblin Merchant, and uh, it's a bit odd that uh, I'm, uh, I'm not exactly sure uh, what his um, reason for getting at is, maybe he just wants to do a lot of harassing with his Demon Hunter while he creeps up his Beastmaster, but you think he'd want at least level 3 on his Demon Hunter before he went for that harassment, you know Sai getting at his first ride, uh, I wonder if he has Dispel, uh, he's just getting it, or he's just getting Abolish Magic now, um, magic now which will be nice against those Skeletons, but obviously um, Moon's Abolish Magic will be really nice against that Beastmaster as well, so I mean it's uh, two sides of a coin really, and it looks like uh, Moon does have this expansion up, has a lot of Wisps actually here, which is quite interesting, because it looks like Sai's moving in, and uh, obviously those Wisps should just immediately be detonated to get rid of those Quill Beasts, and Sai's even picked up an Ogre Mauler, which is really sort of a nice uh, thing to get before you get your Bears, at which point they become completely useless, and it looks like Moon actually staffing home his, uh, his Dark Ranger, probably go buy some items and so they can meet up before they um, try and retaliate, or is Moon maybe not even going to retaliate here, he's, or uh, he's not even going to try and fight this off, because I think Sai does have a bit of a bigger army, and Moon has no Moon Wells here, so he doesn't have any sort of home base advantage, and so it looks like um, Moon might well just have to let this expansion go down. Um, Moon actually coming in with his Dark Ranger as well, who's using a Clarity and ha got, picked up a Pendant of Energy at that, uh, at that second, um, expansion that Moon crept out, and looks like Moon could be forced to let this expansion go down, doesn't even get the detonates where he wants them, which would be on the heroes and on the summoned units, and looks like actually Moon might want, uh, might well get one uh, kill there, but Sai really in a strong position now, uh, he's killed in this expansion, he has a bigger army, if Sai sets up an expansion now he could do quite well for himself, and looks like that's actually exactly what he is doing, and uh, Moon with no expansion uh, at the moment, and looks like no intention of getting one for the uh, meanwhile, uh, which makes sense because he just needs to build up an army, really not in a great position. Meanwhile, Moon setting up a couple of skeletons here. It looks like they're actually running out of time. They're barely going to scout it. They might not even scout it. It'll be a bit of a shame. But 
Sai doing some really nice creeping here. We're gonna get um three three on his hero soon, and uh, that's uh, really gonna be very strong. Plus he's gonna get a very good item from here, and if not, I mean he can sell it. But ooh, interestingly, using the tome of intelligence on his demon hunter rather than on the beastmaster, uh, obviously plus two intelligence, really nice on that beastmaster, and so we mask as well. Unfortunately, get against the demon hunter, but still very very nice to have lots and lots of energy on that beastmaster at higher levels. And it looks like our moon is gonna come in here, getting a very nice position, catching that uh, creeping just on the right person, getting a lot of abolish magics off as well, getting rid of all of those units and just what amazing play here by Moon, considering how far down he was um, last battle, he just has come back so strong and forced Sai out of here after having lost a whole bunch of units, I think Sai should have TP'd out of there basically immediately and then Moon with a very high DPS army now uh, between the Berserker, the Demon Hunter and the um, Dark Ranger all do a lot of actual DPS and the Dryads all are very nice against the uh, Dryads and Huntresses obviously but then also that poison damage just goes on for a bit longer it looks like Moon's in a strong position now to push um, Sai's expansion as well will um, Moon or will um, Sai be able to do anything about it? it looks like he's coming down with the Demon Hunter but I just don't think he has the armor to do that Ogre Mauler is going to cause a lot of trouble for Moon just because it has so much health and actually yeah, Sai's now started attacking tier 3 as well still pumping Dryads from one of these um, Ancients of Lore, and looks like actually I'm gonna just creep out this camp instead. Meanwhile, Moon comes it has uh, come in and cancel that expansion. So really, really nice play here by Moon and uh, Sai picking up. Um, ooh, plus six strength. Not bad on that Beastmaster. It's nice to have all the tanks, especially when you have such a strong, such a predominantly tier two army. Uh, just things like archers and dryads have such low hit points that having uh, the nice tanks as of um, heroes in that Ogre Waller as well can be really useful. And I think now that Sai is taking a tier 3, it can be less useful. Meanwhile, Moon has already finished his tech tier 3, already has Master Bears. This could be um, very, very nice for Moon if he can um, do, if he can push just uh, before uh, Sai gets his Master Training done, which will take him a little while yet. Uh, then that could be really, really critical for him. Meanwhile, Sai coming in with a bit of a creep jack here, but I think he knows that he can't fight. He can see that Moon does have Master Bears now and does have Rejuvenation, and so he can dispel that Rejuvenation, but there's nothing he can do about the Bears. And so, Moon... Surely he's not going to buy a third hero. Can't even think what third hero would synergize well with a Demon Hunter and Dark Ranger. Looks like no, maybe he's not actually going to. Um, he's just uh, stopping off there just to uh, regroup his army. And looks like Sai being forced back into his base. He's just worried about any sort of a attack coming in, and he can't be caught um, creeping at this point, just because he he will sort of have um, no bears compared to Moon's bears, and that's just not a fight you ever want to take. And looks like a uh, moon actually gonna finish off creeping this camp just with his demon hunter now. You know the dark ranger has gone maybe shopping. I don't know. Um, yeah, the deep, uh, dark ranger. Ooh, interestingly, has picked up a potion of healing. Obviously, anticipating some uh, focus fire on it. Uh, and uh, moon does have a staff, I think, as well. Yeah, moon does have a staff, and actually passes a potion of greater invulnerability. Uh, to that demon hunter, which is really really nice, just having that invulnerability as well as everything else, because it is a eight ar eight armor, nine hundred and fifty hit point demon hunter, so it's really in a strong position now. And I'm moving now to creep out this camp. It'll be interesting to see whether or not he dispels these um uh, these uh, effects on the uh, troll troll warlord, because it can actually be effective. And you do tend to have a lot of extra mana. Yeah, yeah. Looks there he goes there, uh, dispelling all of those. Interestingly, no upgrades yet for Moon, whereas um Psy are uh, really creeping a much lesser camp and has no upgrades himself but I imagine once they uh, are at 50 food for long enough they'll start uh, doing some upgrades and Steven Hunter is still only level 3 but can do some nice scouting now just because he does have that staff teleportation to get out of there if he really needs it and uh, Moon can do some nice scouting with these dark uh, minions now but um, Sai really needs to get level 5 on his Beastmaster I think that would be very very nice uh, just those, uh, I mean obviously the um, summons can all be dispelled but it takes a lot more dispels to get rid of sort of like a level 3 bear or something as opposed to a level 2 bear and I'll uh, and uh, river the magi actually for moon not a brilliant item there it'll be ni nicer on that dark ranger obviously but it, even then I mean that dark ranger already has a lot of mana so we're gonna be seeing a lot of silence as I imagine this battle and moon now I'm um, setting up this expansion again and uh, Sai he might have been setting up an expansion actually based on the fact that all these dark uh, those the, the, Oops, sorry, there seemed to have been a dispel on these uh, dark minions, but um, it's uh, Sai might have just had a wisp around. Uh, it's hard to say really at this point. It looks like actually Moon uh, picking up a ring of protection as well. No, not a brilliant item, but I suppose it's all right. And looks like they're finally going to finish off this creeping now. And I think both Moon's going to be looking for a fight pretty soon. Although Sai is a pretty hefty army as well, actually. And uh, Sai picking up Staff of the Silence actually is going to be quite nice. It's going to sort of imitate the um. Uh, sort of the effect of having that Dark Ranger and uh, picking up 
So he just picked up another item, and I, oh yeah, the Lionhorn of Storm Wind. Uh, it's actually an alright item in this situation, I think, just because it's such a sort of a bear versus bear army and dryad versus um, bear army.